what's up everybody and welcome back to another Disney Cars unboxing. Today I'm going to be opening Cars 3 Bob Cutlass. If you don't remember, I, I got this guy on my last target hunt, which was target hunt number 15. Before that, I got I also got Heyday Smokey, which I already unboxed. And before I get before I get into the unboxing of this guy, I just want to say sorry that I am I, um, been inactive most of this week I've just been very busy with stuff and another part of it was because like with me being busy I've been kind of in a way drained of energy because it takes a it takes a good amount of energy to make these videos for you guys so my energy has been drained as well most of this week but tomorrow I was, I was at least able to spend two hours with you guys on a live stream and it was nice talking to all you guys and I'll try to do another one tonight, possibly, depending on how today goes. If I'm busy again, I probably won't do a live stream, but you know, around certain, I'll let you guys know around a certain time when I start my live streams. But anyways, guys, let's get into the review of this Bob Cutlass. Okay, you see right here, Bob Cutlass. Very nice, um, or, I don't know, it, I'm not quite sure if it is similar to the Cars 1 Bob Cutler's art. To me, it looks different. Overall, it looks very nice. He's probably the Florida 500 series. On the back, we got other races. We got Jackson Storm. Two Cruise, Cruise Ramirez variations. Dianco Cruise. And I don't think this is the proper name for it, but I'm going to say Rusty's Cruise. And then I think this is Shannon Spokes. I may be wrong, but I believe that's the name. The description for the series reads, It's the opening race of the Piston Cup season. Who will take home the championship? We already know that. It is obviously Cruz Ramirez. But, you know, it, it's if you haven't seen the movie, it makes you wonder. But I'm pretty sure most people who collect these have seen the movie. This is a Thailand release. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Thailand did their molding and designing of the Bob Cutlass compared to the Chinese one because I have the Cars 1 Bob Cutlass which which is from 2013 so that makes it a Chinese release so I'm just going to be very interested to see how well they did with the modeling and design of the car so anyways that's it for the unboxing now that's it for the review of the packaging so I'll see you guys with this guy out of the packaging here is Cars 3 Bob Cutlass out of the packaging and I have to say right off the bat from opening this guy and handing him for a few minutes before, no not a few minutes, like a few seconds before putting him, putting him out on camera for you is that I've noticed right away that he feels a lot smaller, not as a thick of a body as the Cars 1 model of Bob Cutlass but we'll, 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 we'll get into that as comparisons after we look at him. So first off, right off the bat, he has a pretty interesting expression, completely different from the Cars 1 model. He he, he has um, a smile. In my opinion, it kind of looks like a fake smile, but he's smiling overall. The eyelids, they're okay. They're not bad. They're not as bad as some other ones, but they could be a little better. They're a little grainy, but not as grainy as some other ones that we've gotten. The headlight designing. They could have done better on that. The headlight designing does not look the best. Nice rims. There's RSN, Racing Sports Network. So he's still working for RSN. On the back, we get his license plate which is a completely different color from the one he used to have. The license plate reads R08-226E and above it, it says new something. Okay, I looked I looked at the plate through a magnifying glass again, just like I did on the Heyday Smokey video. Um, you can't, I can't really read out what the second word means, but I'm gonna guess that something has the word like gear in it. And as I'm looking in the magnifying glass, I notice that they have a little car badge right there, which is probably the model badge of the vehicle. And the, the brake lights on this, I don't really like the design of that. 
Like, I see what they're going for, but I don't know, it looks kind of odd in this model. The exhaust pipes are a lot more of a 3D effect to it. And this side, it also reads RSN. So overall, pretty decent model. But they could have done a little better on some of the design, mostly on the front headlights. They don't look the best. The eyelids are decent. They're not that bad. So now let's get into comparison with the the Cars 1 Bob Cutlass and let's see if they changed anything on the modeling of them. So right off the bat here is Cars 1 Bob Cutlass and as I said this guy looks a lot wider and I believe he is. Like I think you'll more understand if you own both of these in person. This one feels a lot thinner compared to this one or maybe like an op it may be an optical illusion and it may be the same size but to me it feels like they this model of him is wider so anyways let's get into comparisons you can see right away that the cars one Bob Cutlass has a, in my opinion they they're not great but they have better headlight design the color he changed the color of him in the movie, he's from a dirty grayish brown, like a bronze color in a way, to gray. On the side, he looks like he changed his rims, and that's nice. RSN, he doesn't have any RSN on him. On this model, he doesn't have that black um, beam, or whatever you call that. The mirrors seem very similar. That's a turning signal, I believe they put on the, this model. They didn't put on this model. This model has a least um, looking. This is that's an antenna. So this one, the antenna on this one, isn't as pronounced. It's still visible, but it's a lot smaller than um, this one. And yes, I knew something was off with the license plate. I don't know if this is an error. But he has a completely different license plate. And this one, in the Cars 1, he has a RSN license plate, as you see right there. And on, then, on the Cars 3 model, he has a completely different license plate. Which doesn't really make much sense. Okay, hear me out. Okay, like I'm, I'm just gonna put a little bit of actual car logic in here, and you can correct me in the comment section. I'm pretty sure if if you move date, like you move from California to let's say Virginia, <laughs> I don't think that you would get a completely different plate number. I think you, the design of the plate would be different, but you get to keep your original plate. So like, let's say he originally lived in this county, which is readable, but I'm not going to bother reading it to you. And he has the RSN put on his plate. And then he moved to, I think the race that uh, Cruz Ramirez won, I think that was based in California. You can correct me on that as well. And then he got, and he moved, he would have gotten the same exact plate, the RSN plate. But instead, he got a complete different number on it. So I don't know what's up with that. That's actually very interesting. And, uh, and also, the modeling, the molding of the back is completely different. The trunks seem to be similar this one is a little smaller like look the back film is smaller and this has a wider back this one has a thinner back the modeling of the back is completely different as well the bumper is a lot more curvy on this one and not as curvy on this one um the brake lights are a lot bigger overall like this is this bob cutlass is a completely different model than this one the bases are pretty similar 
but model wise the yeah completely different models and again I'm a little confused on why does the why does his license plates why are it why are his license plates completely different? That's why I'm think wondering because I'm pretty sure. Again, you can correct me if you move state, you get to keep the same license plate as you had, but you get a different design of the plate. You'll get the the state's design of the plate, but you'll get to keep the same numbers or wood on your plate. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. You can correct me on that. Blah, blah, blah. It, it's you, the, the, there's lots of drastic changes that they did on the timing car uh, if I would pick on which one to keep I will probably go for the cars 1 bob cutters cars 3 bob cutters is okay but you know it's not the best and we got Dale car trip as well this is the cars 1 2013 release of they were a car trip. Yeah, there's just lots of differences. I'm definitely gonna put this on the Catholic talk to the community because I don't think anyone else realized that the plates are different. So that's very interesting. But anyways, that's it for this video. Um, again, I'll go for the cards one. Bob cut this over the cards three. The cards three one is okay. They did some great design work on it. The rims. My favorite part about this is the rims. That's that's like one of the only things I like is like it has the star design. Similar to this one, but it's a lot, a little little better detailed. But yeah, the cars and one about cutlass I'll go for in a heartbeat. But anyways guys, that's it for this video. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.